Welcome to Settle Your Bet. I'm Jack Settleman, and it is NFL week number 10. On this episode, we're gonna head to the stock market to buy some more and sell some more. We're gonna settle a bet in an international court, and then I will give you my NFL week 10 best bet. Let's get into it. That's everyone's favorite sound. It's time for the NFL stock market. Our favorite buy in week number 10 is the San Francisco 49ers to win the NFC West. It's currently priced at minus 135. Let's take a look at their competition in this haunted division. You've got the Rams, who really seem buried at this point. They've got nothing going for them, and Matt Stafford has seven touchdowns to eight interceptions. You've got Kyler Murray and the Cardinals. They're on a mid-season version of hard knocks, and things in Arizona are quite, quite hard. They're simply not going to win the division. The Niners' biggest competitor is Geno Smith and the Seahawks, a team that was projected to go defeated this year. Geno has impressed, could be an MVP candidate, but eventually that luck will run out. I think it may start in Deutschland when their downfall starts to begin. The Niners have brought in Christian McCaffrey, they're returning players off the IR, and the 49ers will win the NFC West, may I say it, with ease. I'm buying the Niners at minus 135 to win the NFC West. We're flying back across the country to the stock market to sell the Jets. The movie The Big Short is when a man bet over a billion dollars against the housing market. Well, I am a man who does not have a billion dollars, but if I did, I would short the Jets to the death. Now, New York fans, don't get it twisted. This season has been awesome. The Jets defense is among the tops of the league, and Sauce Gardner is surely your defensive rookie of the year. But Zach Wilson is still your quarterback, ladies and gentlemen, and the AFC East is known as the AFC Beast. The Jets are second in their division right now, but with one loss, could fall all the way to the bottom of the barrel. There's simply no way all four teams from this division are getting into the postseason in a tough, tough AFC. That's why I'm selling the Jets to miss the playoffs. It's minus 120 right now, and in just a couple weeks, I guarantee you it will be in way, way better shape. It is time to settle a bet. On this week's episode, we head to international court as the Seattle Seahawks and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers face off in Germany. The Seahawks are two and a half point underdogs. And you may be asking, how are the Seahawks underdogs against the crappy Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Well, I know Drake just dropped an album and everyone's got a little bit of trust issues right now, but trust the odds. The odds say the Buccaneers are the better team. They're plus 1,900 to win it all. The Seahawks plus 3,400. They're minus 210 to win the division. The Seahawks, they're plus 150. The odds know best and I know best and I will be settling this bet for y'all. That's why the bet is settled. We ride with the GOAT in Germany. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, minus two and a half. My best bet for NFL week number 10 is the Washington Commanders plus 11. The Commanders head to Philadelphia for Monday Night Football. You've got Taylor Heineke, AKA the cover god. He's covered in over 60% of his football games. Meanwhile, the Eagles, albeit undefeated, are coming off a non-cover against an inferior opponent, the Houston Texans. The Eagles are 8-0, but they've looked beatable up until this point. Meanwhile, the Commanders have stifled many offenses with their incredible front seven. They've got Chase Young on the horizon, and if you're gonna give me a divisional rival plus double digits in the month of November, I'm gonna take that every single time. My best bet for NFL week number 10, Washington plus 11. Let's recap our action from this week's Settle Your Bet. We bought some stock in the San Francisco 49ers and we sold the Jets. We're headed to Germany and we're rolling with the Bucks and we're rolling with the Commanders in their return to Philadelphia. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Settle Your Bet. I'll see you as I continue this incredible hot streak for NFL Week 11.